Hey guys, um, today we're going to be doing an exercise instead of a lesson where we try to make something uh, by using what we've learned so far um, while not really learning a new aspect of C++ but just applying what we have learned before. So today we're going to be making uh, rock, paper, scissors which is, um, it's pretty simple but it's a good way to practice what we've learned. So. I'm going to open up text edit. So the, uh, the way this is going to work is we want our program to display something like this. Or let's do it in... There we go. Okay, pick a move like that. And then, um, so the user will enter either 1, 2, or 3. Say they enter 2. Then it's going to say you picked paper, and then we're going to have the um, the computer generate a random number, um, like we went over in the last video, and then uh, it'll we'll use that to generate a computer move, so it'll be between one, you know, one, two, or three is the number it'll generate, and then um, if it picks, say, a three, then we'll say computer picked scissors, and then uh, depending on whether you win or lose, or tie, it'll say you win, or you lose, or you, uh, you tie. So, that's pretty much all we're going to be going for today. I'll, I'll keep that document open so we can have it for a reference. Okay, so let's start off by seeding, let's see, we're going to want to seed the random number generator. Okay, and then we'll see out like this, one, rock, two, scissors. No, why do I keep saying two scissors, two is paper. Okay, pick a move, and then we'll make an int, use your choice, and uh, input that choice. Okay, so then we want to generate a computer choice, so we'll do that by going int CPU choice equals, um, so our random function to generate a random number up to three and so when you use this mod operator it'll be um, up to three in that it will be zero one or two and we want it to be one two or three so all we're gonna do is take that and um, add one to it so that way it'll be one two or three um, okay so now let's let's see if user choice equals one Um, you picked rock. You picked paper. And then, um, like I was saying when we were going over if conditionals, even though we wouldn't expect the user to enter anything other than 1, 2, or 3, um, they may enter like a 7 or something. So we're going to put an else block here, So, which basically means if the user didn't enter 1, 2, or 3. Um, and if that happens, then we'll say... Um, uh, invalid uh, choice. And then um, we'll go ahead and uh, type return 1, because that way that'll just finish main, because w once it finds a return value, it's not going to execute any more of the code. So it's not going to go through um, uh, anything else. It'll just say invalid choice and then quit. So that's what you get for invalid input.
Um, let's do some similar output for the CPU choice. Okay, that should go pretty well. Now we're just going to do logic. And so, first of all, if user choice is the same as CPU choice, then that means it's a tie. I'm going to go ahead and make some functions for uh, winning or losing. Just so I don't have to type out um, the C out every time. And it's uh, very clear, though I guess it would be pretty clear if it was C outing. That should not be so happy that you lost. Let's see. Um, I guess it would be pretty clear that I was saying that you lose, but whatever. I think it's nice to have it organized like this. Um, it's a tie. Okay, that means you tie. Um, okay, so now we actually go through every choice and examine the different choices that uh, the computer could have. I think that's right. Um, so let's see, if you chose one and computer chose two, that means that you lose. Um, then you win, because they chose scissors and you chose rock. All right, excellent. Um, if you chose paper and they chose rock, you lose. Oops, this should be a lowercase h. Uh, excellent. No, why do I keep doing that? Um, then you win. Uh, uh, wait. If you chose paper, I think I have this backwards. You should win against rock and lose against scissors. Alrighty. One more to do. If you chose scissors and they chose rock, you lose. Semicolons are important. Or two. So, um, you should win. Scissors beats paper. Okay, excellent. That should do all the output, and then we'll just see how it. Thanks for playing. Not player. All right, there we go. Okay, that should do it. Let's do uh, RPS for rock paper scissors, and then let's let's compile. All right, looks good. Uh, pick a move. I'll pick rock. You picked rock. Computer picks paper. I lose. Yeah, that is right. Darn. Um, so it looks like we're missing a few extra returns, so let's add those in, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. So, and then after that, before all this, we'll do another one. Alright, looks good. Um, okay, I'll pick rock. You picked rock, computer picked scissors, I win. Awesome! So there you go. Uh, this should work for every choice. Yeah, I lost. Awesome. Let's try to get a draw before the end of the video. Just to prove that it's possible. Yeah, there we go. It's a tie. <laughs> I picked paper and the computer picked paper. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, pretty simple game. 
but um, it's your first game that you've ever programmed, probably. Um, so uh, that's pretty exciting, I think. Um, if you like the video, rate it high. If you didn't, rate it low. If you have a question, leave a comment or send me a message. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.